When you wake up in a house where everything around you oozes creativity, then you are most likely to catch the bug. And this is the case for the Ajiboye family. It's an exhibition of cartoons, drawings, paintings, textiles and ceramics by three remarkable men, Rotimi, Shagun and veteran artist Josie Adiboye, who happens to be their father. I feel happy that I'm still alive and they are doing what they are doing. And I, I live to watch it, so it makes me happy. It, it makes me feel great. If you happen to find your play, yourself in a house where when you wake up, you smell art, you sniff art, you see art. There's no way you won't be influenced, even if you don't want to be part of it. There's what you call nurture. There's what you call nature. Those are two powerful forces that shape every human being. The nature is what God has put in you when you are born, and the nurture is the upbringing, the environment, the parents and the people around you when you are growing up. Those two things determine who you become. I was born with a talent and I came into a family where the talent is blossoming. And then, of course, I could pick it up and grow with it. So also all my siblings. That begins our tale of father and sons. 11 paintings by Josie, 14 paintings and 18 ceramics by Shagun, and 26 paintings and mixed media drawings by Rotimi is what they've brought to the Terra Culture Gallery. It's a family show and it's a second in the series. The first one we had was in 2008. Um, that was at um, National Art Theatre Igomu. And we felt it's been a long while since we last came out. So this time around, it's just the three of us that's coming out. Myself, my elder brother, in person of uh, Dr. Shegu Ajiboye, then my father, Josa Ajiboye. But beyond family ties, they show that when it comes to art, they have free spirit. The older Ajiboye will always strike a chord when talking about cartoons in Nigeria. His satirical and witty comic drawings make people laugh while passing across a salient message. Although he has explored another media, painting is where his love for nature shines through. With works such as Agungu Fishing Festival, Jungle Rustler, Money Pa and more, all done on oil on canvas. Any artist you see will say, my work is very good. But what I can say practically is that it's only the public, you the viewers, you that consumes whatever we do are the judge. You know, are the judges who can say this, this, this. I mean, you can write, if you do a good job, you don't need to write a long story about it. Shagun is a multi-talented contemporary artist and a lecturer at the Obafemi Awolowo University, Ileife Oshun State, who explores Yoruba cultural lifestyles in works of art. You see, my dad usually say, if you say someone is copying you, your student is copying you, or your student, my father would say, well, who do you expect them to copy? Of course, you. So, everybody learns to become an artist by copying an artist. So we learned by copying my father. Many of us have copied his cartoons, his drawings, his paintings several times in our lives. And that was how we learned. Before we now copied other people and then we learned and we can now bring out our own ideas and our own style. So we see it as a normal thing about growing up. It's a normal thing. You copy this one, copy this and then you grow up and then you find your own self. His poetry is also quite unique, as it's different from the usual. Expressions come to life in the objects seen in works, such as Area Boy, Mending Fences, or Buying Council. 
and much more. The youngest of the bunch is Rotimi, a teacher and a painter who also honed his skills at the Obafemi Awolowo University. He explains the works of art and his style. My team revolves around human survival instincts. That uh, when you wake up, how to make a living, that's the way we go about making a living. That's what I've concentrated on. Then of course you see, once in a while you see a depiction of uh, little ones, the children in my art pieces. So that's what I've concentrated on. This is a rare opportunity to see the unique art skills of this house. Hopefully, they will do another exhibition that will incorporate the girls, Yemisi and Ronke, contemporary artists who are also members of the Ajiboye art family.